Hello everyone, welcome back to OET Learnuary. It's Sona here from Bose Learning. I'm a premium preparation provider of the OET and of course every day this February I'm posting a short OET video for you so you can upgrade your OET skills. Don't worry if you missed the previous 26 videos, that's no problem at all. You can go back and have a look at them now. But today we're going to be looking at OET reading part C and in particular trying to get to understand implication. Of course in reading part C you get longer texts. These are typically the kinds of texts you would be reading for professional development. You have a little bit more time and you read to understand, to enjoy, to improve your skills and knowledge. Now with this kind of reading, a lot of time you have to be able to read between the lines and understand implication and you need to practice doing this. One way you can do this is by reading lots of medical journals. As ever, I'm not a healthcare professional, I'm an English teacher who's a premium preparation provider of the OET, so all my information comes from reputable sources. And today's source is Medscape, I'll put the article reference down here, there's two actually, I'll also put it into the um, information box so you can go away and read it as well. And I've got two very short passages for you today and we're just going to try and find words which carry an implication. So first of all, in this first passage, there are 10 words or expressions which carry a hidden meaning or maybe a bit more of an obvious meaning. They are not so black and white, they have an implication. The author, in this case Sheena, is trying to convey a message and you need to be able to spot these kinds of words and then understand what they mean so you can go away and answer the questions. First of all, I want you to read through this for me please and find 10 words or expressions which have an implication and then we'll find out what they mean. First of all, just a minute or two to look through. Okay, if we look at this opening section then, if we even just start with the heading, we've got Delta Cron variant, scariant or celebrity coupling. So this already carries a lot of meaning. This is the name of the new possible variant of COVID-19 that's been found. But is it really a variant? Is it a scariant? What is a scariant? Well, it's a play with words, isn't it? It's variant mixed with a scare factor, something that's designed to scare us. Or is it a celebrity coupling? Is this something like Brad and Angelina? Or is this something like Adele and Rich Paul? Or Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly? Is it some kind of celebrity coupling um, going on? So again, this is already not a very serious way to begin a serious, a potentially serious topic. So I think you can get some meaning here from the author and she's questioning whether this is a real variant. Is it designed to scare us or is it something more? Is it the media trying to get some kind of celebrity status to this? It's is it a joke really. So this is what the article is going to explore. Now, if we look at the next part, we have the expression hot on the heels. 
What does that mean? Well, that means something that comes out very quickly after something else. Hot on the heels of last week's French variant. But it's something that we normally use for fashion or some kind of gossip news. It's not serious news. So straight after this French variant, we've got this new Deltacron variant. And the mainstream media lit up again this weekend with reports of a controversial new Deltacron variant. So it's not serious scientific media, it's mainstream media, it's the tabloid press, it's the blogs, it's the internet gossip lit up. They get so excited. It's like some kind of famous celebrity couple. So again, this the implication here is that it's not very serious and in fact it's a controversial new variant. So maybe the scientists are not so convinced by it. We have more ways here which show that the author is maybe not so convinced, allegedly a combination. The author doesn't know if it is or if it isn't, but this professor here, Leonidas Kostrikis, has claimed it is a new variant. In any case, the media have got really excited about it. And then here we do get more serious because the professor has sent it off to the international database to track the virus sequences. So this becomes much more serious, but the opening, of course, shows that the author is perhaps a little bit sceptical and wants to explore the scientific foundations further. If you do want to go away and read it, then please do. The, the link is here and I'll also put it into the box below so you can check it out for yourself. So always search between the lines, look for those words, those expressions like allegedly or claimed or as reported and that will show you that the author is maybe not so convinced by this claim. Let's look at another article from the same website. This time it's a study about how skin colour affects accuracy of pulse oximetry readings for COVID-19. Again, I want you to read through it and decide, is this article positive, in favour, negative, against or balanced? Are there any implications here? What do you think? And this time you can probably see that the tone is quite different. Researchers have raised concerns. There are warnings that this could lead to a delay. The research published in the journal found that pulse oximeters gave falsely high readings. It's all very factual, isn't it? It doesn't have that sensationalism that the previous article had. So in fact, this is quite a balanced sort of article. The author, Rob Hicks in this case, is just explaining what the researchers have found and what they are worried about. So again, a different topic, but this time the writing is much more neutral, it's much more factual, much more scientific. If you want more help with inference and reading between the lines, I've got a whole longer video on this. I'll put the link up so you can go away and look at that maybe. But once again, thank you for joining me this OET Learnery. I'll see you tomorrow for the final one. See you then. Bye bye.